Light heavyweight unification, Gavostiak Berbatiev. Excuse the pronunciation, but it's a massive fight and we're going to break it down. Hi, I'm Dan Hamilton, former British light waterweight boxing champion. I'm Dan Sarkozy, professional boxer. I'm really impressed with this one. Uh, two equally matched fighters who are unbeaten going at it. You have the, the man with the, you've got the slower pace. Who's, what's the name of the guy with the Berbatiev. slower pace? Berbatiev. Berbatiev. Yeah. Against the guy with the, with, the, with the quicker, quite slightly faster That's pace. It's funny you say that. That's yeah. what I think is going to be the deciding factor in this bout. Mm. Berbatiev is going to be trying to slow it down, time those big shots. Yeah, yeah. And Gavostiak is going to try to let his hands, hands go, go. Fight, keep it at a higher, higher pace. Higher pace. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it reminds me of Canelo versus GGG. Yes, yeah, okay, yeah. Similar, very similar to that. Yeah, Berbatia boxes like Triple G, I think. It does, it does box a lot like Triple G. Um, guys, all you, you're not going to be able to, put, to pull these guys apart for, for, for a winner. I'm just going to go with the guy who moves his head more. Who's, which one was that one? The one that actually moved his head side to side or as he's throwing the shots. Berbatia, yeah. with, with the big singles. Yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with him on points. Points. Yeah. They're both sort of good finishers. You see it going points. That's interesting. I just think at this level. Two elite. Yeah, I see yeah. what you're saying. At this level. Guys, comment below. We want to hear what you think.